Hi there, my name is Bernard. I am an IMG, and uh, I'm just basically sharing with you today uh, my mnemonic I came across for the DNA viruses. I know there's a lot of mnemonics, and you know, even there's a the one with the boy in the hat, which is quite popular. Um, but I came across this one I wanted to share with you. I think it's pretty easy. Um, so let's jump into it. So basically, um, this is how I try to remember the DNA viruses. Uh, so when it comes to the viruses, I know there are like three key things I need to know about the viruses. So the capsid, then um, the shape of the genome. So the shape of the capsid, the shape of the genome, and also uh, if it's enveloped or non-enveloped, which we'll call naked. Okay, so these are the three key things I want to remember about uh, the viruses. Um, so now when it comes to the shape of the capsid, I know it can be either icosahedral, so icosahedral, or it can be helical, okay? Now, with this, also helps me to remember one thing. Uh, most of the icosahedral shape are positive sense. And the helical shaped capsid are negative sense. Okay. Now, basically, what the sense means is that if it's positive sense, it means has mRNA. If it's negative sense, it means it does not have mRNA. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, all the positive, uh, all the icosahedral shaped capsid are positive sense, and the uh, helical shaped are negative sense. Okay. Now, if you have trouble remembering this, uh, I try to remember this as negative. You know, negative begins with an N, and then when you're writing helical, you know, there's a bit of an N in it, right? When you write your H like that, there's a bit of an N in it. So, uh, basically, um, sorry, I'm just trying to shift it here. Okay. So, yeah, basically, that helps you remember the capsid. And then the genomes uh, can be either circular or linear genome, and then enveloped or naked. Okay, so now let's get into remembering um, the various viruses. Okay, so we start off by drawing this. So basically, this is uh, positive sense. Remember, we said positive sense are icosahedra, and then negative sense okay they are helical um so once we are done drawing um the whole picture we would basically have um a fair idea of what to do and especially the a few exceptions to help you remember um so now a good thing to remember is that uh, dna viruses they are all you know they are all basically uh, positive sense icosahedral. There's only one exception, which is pox virus. And um, I remember the pox virus as a, you know, uh, you know, this fox in a box. So same thing, pox in a box, right? So basically, the pox has a very complex shape. So that is why um, you know, it doesn't fit into either being icosahedral or helical. So it's just complex shape. Okay. So that's it. So, you know, in the, when we come to DNA viruses, you can just forget about, you know, um, negative sense or helical shape, you know, because all of them are positive. Okay, so now, that being said, we break it down again. We have the naked viruses, and then we have the enveloped viruses. Now, in drawing this breakdown, one thing I also have to remember is that, you know, we're all born naked. So, I mean, naked always comes first, and then envelope comes first. So, naked means you basically don't have anything covering it. And then envelope means that there's some sort of capsule around the organism. So, um, yeah, so naked always comes before envelope. So, just think of it as a newborn. You come into the world naked, and then, you know, after a while you get clothed on. So, that's how we remember that. And then... So for the naked viruses, this is the real mnemonic. So there's three PAs. The S, remember the S is small letter here. So that's a, it's, a, it's there for a reason like that. And then two HP. So basically, try to remember it's a three physician assistants. So three PAs on two HP laptops, okay? So, you know, um, that's how basically to rem remember. So then breaking them down. Um, so 
the first one would be parvovirus second one polyoma virus third one papilloma virus and then last one adenovirus okay so those are your naked viruses and then your hp laptops 2 hp so 3 ps have 2 hp so hepadna virus hepis virus and your pox virus okay see how they're arranged so um one thing to note here parvovirus specifically comes first among the three pas and here is easy 2 hp so pox virus is also last year okay so meaning this is like the smallest and this is the largest okay and you remember we said pox in the box doesn't fit the icosahedra shape and also the fact that it's large we are talking about dna all of the dna viruses replicate in the nucleus except pox virus which is replicates in the cytoplasm why because it's too big to go into the nucleus so you know so the arrangement is a pretty key you know it doesn't really matter how you arrange the rex but just know that parvovirus comes first and you know obviously 2 hp so poxes are the last um and also this is smallest parvovirus is the smallest so um all viruses are double stranded except you know parvovirus which is a single stranded dna okay so that also will probably help you remember that um so now you know breaking them down you know uh parvovirus so uh, your polyoma viruses are your BKJC virus, papilloma virus, HPV, adenovirus, you know, single, hepatina virus, HBV, herpes virus, you know, your herpes virus, CMV, you know, I'm not trying to list all the viruses, but I mean, you know, you can find them out. So your CMV, your herpes, your varicella, which is your chicken pus, you know, note that chicken pus is herpes, not pox, okay. And then your HSV1, HSV2, and the likes. And then your pox viruses, smallpox, cowpox, and uh, Moloscum contagiosum. So, um, yeah, so basically with this, you know, you know from about 90% of um, the questions that will probably pop up when it comes to DNA viruses. So, um, like I said earlier on, we also need to know the genome, okay? So, we've basically, we know the capsid. We know the genome, uh, we know the envelope and naked, and now we just need to know the genome. So which ones are circular and which one are linear? So this is simple. All the DNA viruses that end in A are circular, okay? So from the naked portion, we have parvovirus doesn't end in A, so polyoma ends in A, papilloma ends in A, so circular hepatin DNA, hepatina, so also end in A. So you have three of them that end in uh, A, so they are all circular, and obviously the rest will be what? Linear. And then, <clears throat> one thing you can also remember is that, you know, you can just remember AC, your air condition or something, you know, so that will help you also keep the, um, the you know, the association of A between the C. So AC, you know, all the DNA virus that end in A are circular, have the circular genome. Um, so, yeah. Um, this, I believe, if you, you know, go out, go through it a uh, few times, uh, you would know it um, off head. So, like I said, three key things so know the capsid, know the genome, know if it's enveloped and naked, icosahedra, helical, circular, and then, um, you know, when it comes to the naked, you always know we arrange it like this naked comes before enveloped, you're born naked before you know you started putting on clothes. And then three PA, so three physician assistant on two HP laptops, so three PAs and two HP. So the NCS sim is you know small for a reason, doesn't really appear. Okay, so um, this will be all that for the DNA viruses. Uh, I might look and uh, do an RNA viruses. I think that's a bit cumbersome, but um, you know, check out my next video for that as well. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know, you can put it in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, see you next time. Have a good day.